What up, game man? Y'all already know who it is. It's your boy vlogging with Greg, and I'm back with another reaction video, man. Back on my grind once again, man. Y'all see, we doing something different once again, man. This one here is called "Fake Beggars Who Were Caught Red Handed." Yes, sir. I know this one here got to be a good one, man. This, these, hey, I ain't gonna lie. Always wanted if most of them people to be like really faking it or do they really be homeless you know what i'm saying like i know hopefully for the most part that some of them is not faking it you know what i'm saying like standing out there actually need help you know to to survive but then you got those that's doing it for a living just so they won't have to go step on nobody job or go do you know I, I couldn't sit in one spot all day, every day, just constantly begging on purpose, you know? So if you need help, you need help. But if not, you know, just go, I mean, there's other things you can go do and sit out and just make money. So, but before we get started with this video, man, if you're not subscribed to your boy channel yet, go ahead on and hit that subscribe. Turn that notification bell on all the way you know every time your boy done dropped another video man get in the comment section let me know what y'all want to see we're gonna get to it don't forget to hit that like button man if y'all want to support the channel in any type of way feel free to do so the links are in the description down below so with that being said man we're gonna go ahead on the jump straight into this video man fake beggars who were caught red-handed let's get it in the world, there are many people who don't have things like money or houses. It's important that we look after these people and help them out when we can. But it's also important to make sure that these people are the real deal. It turns out some beggars aren't who they say they are. Some are not actually in need and are very bad people. Others wow. may fake things to make us feel sorry for them to make more money. And mm -hmm. some beggars actually are incredibly wealthy with houses and luxury cars. No one knows just... Yeah. See what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. Like, you got those that's actually, they got things. They they living better than us, you know? Like, they really make a lot of money doing this type of thing. And, I, and some people do it for so long, I don't even see how they they went that long without being get, you know, without getting caught how many fake beggars are out there but we do know about these ones who were revealed and exposed fifth avenue beggar if you're preying on unsuspecting rich people to catch with a begging scam one of the best places to do it is fifth avenue fifth avenue is a major road in manhattan new york Fifth Avenue is famous for its expensive luxury jewelry and clothing stores, and it's also a hub for the city's scammers. After all, what better target for a scam than a rich person? One of these scammers was this woman. At a first glance, she seems like a very vulnerable elderly woman on crutches. It seems like she has some kind of hunchback or disability. But one day a man on Fifth Avenue was watching this woman. That's when something she did raised a red flag. She would panhandle with a cup. But whenever someone put money into this cup, she would empty it into a handbag. This made it seem like she was not getting any money. She would earn around 50 donations per hour, earning her anything from 50 to $500 per hour. That is wow. much more than minimum wage. After seeing her empty her cup, some undercover journalists began tracking this woman. They waited until night and followed- 500, up to 500 an hour? And she from she doing this from morning to night, or oh, whenever she feel like she didn't had enough, bro. <laughs> oh boy, yeah, she good. She is good. Motor. They saw her walk away and climb into a minivan. But when she climbed back out, the journalists were stunned. They saw a very young, healthy, put-together woman. She no longer had crutches and was walking normally. And she also had a totally different, expensive outfit. She looked more suited to be shopping on Fifth Avenue than begging on it. They continued following this woman. And the following day, she went on a shopping spree with- And then she just falls into the crowd like- But nobody don't notice her though. You know, they, they see the woman, it's either they help her or they don't. Like, she, in everybody's eyes, is like, 
All right, I help you now. You, I ain't gotta, I ain't gotta worry about you no more for the day. They're not really looking at her appearance and seeing who she is. So if they see her again, somebody might recognize who she is. But bro, she just fall in line with everybody else with money. With her friends, probably spending the ill-gotten donations from the previous day. The next day, she went back to work as a vulnerable disabled woman. The journalist. Okay, I see how she doing it. Let me see. Check out. See when people approach her, she put her head down. Her friends. So you won't probably be able to see spending her. the ill-gotten donations from the previous day. The next day, she went back to work as a vulnerable disabled woman. Mm -hmm. The journalists confronted her, but the scammer ignored them. We've been watching you the last few days, and you don't really need those crutches, do you? We saw you this morning walking perfectly fine. <laughs> it's unknown what this woman's doing now. But if you see her on Fifth Avenue, then beware. Fake disability. I wonder what she doing now. <laughs> Since she done got exposed like that. Like, what y'all think she doing now? Like, she probably done moved to a whole nother area and doing the same thing. Might be making the same amount. Might be making a little less. But she ain't going to work. She ain't going to work for nobody. Trust me. Naturally, you're much more likely to give money to a beggar if they're disabled. After all, this means they're more vulnerable and you feel sorry for them. Some beggars even give stories about how they are veterans who were injured on the battlefield. But it turns out not all of these disabilities are real. For example, this beggar in China. In the middle of a busy street, this guy was caught red-handed. He was lying on the ground with wheels to get about. And he was pretending to passers-by that he had lost both his legs. But that's when a passerby recognized the beggar. He had been on the bus with the beggar just hours ago. And back then, the beggar had been standing up normally. The man decided to expose the beggar on the street for everyone to see. Uh, it's a good thing he recognized <laughs> the right person, because if he got the wrong guy, this would have been awkward. But it was the right guy, and this fake beggar's secret was exposed. The Dude. beggar had simply crossed his... How do you do that? How you cross... <laughs> How you cross your legs behind you like that? And make it seem like you ain't got no legs, bro. Boy, people do anything, man. Anything. He did it, though. But, oh, boy, he <laughs> he recognized it. He pulled it off him. Beggar just hours ago. <laughs> and back then, the beggar had been standing up normally. The oh, man decided man. to expose the beggar on the street for everyone to see. It's a good thing he recognized the right person, because if he got the wrong guy, this would have been awkward. Oh, yeah, but it, it was have. the right guy, and this fake beggar's secret was exposed. The beggar had simply crossed his legs under his clothes. Another fake Chinese beggar moved around on a wooden skateboard. He was pretending he had no legs and no hands. But after this guy collects a lot of money, he stands up like normal. He even counts his money very fast with his working hands. This guy is a really bad person. Not only is he lying to all of these people, but he's also taking donations from real beggars with actual disabilities. Something right. similar was caught on surveillance footage in an Arabic country. An entire family is walking around with a man who claims to be disabled. They had been collecting donations, but that's when a surveillance camera catches this man resting on the stairs. He then takes off his work clothes and walks around like normal. Another beggar who was faking a disability was revealed in Pakistan. A but I see that's what I'm saying. Like they make it real hard for other people that need it. You know what I'm saying? Like that that really that really have a disability to try to get any type of tips from anybody. Cause you got people like this that just sit around and they they pretty much stealing money from the ones that really need it. So it making it bad for those people, man. I don't like that. Journalist is tipped off that he's a fake. He goes to confront him and takes his walking sticks. At first, the man pretends to not know how to walk without his walking sticks. But eventually he gets tired of the journalist questioning him. He then stands up and walks away without even limping. It's a <laughs> good job that this reporter did this because he probably saved people a lot of money. Bruh. Mercedes-Benz beggar. Some beggars who scam people are still quite poor. But as you're about to see, sometimes even the rich beg. 
One day, a pregnant woman was panhandling on the streets of San Francisco with her young son, but was stunned when she walked away and got into a Mercedes Benz. Someone posted this on social media, and that's when others came forward saying they saw her do the exact same thing. She became infamous in- License plate number and everything. Boy, they really exposed them. Like, <laughs> picture after picture. Boy, hey, that's sad, man. That is sad. She walked away and got that's into a Mercedes-Benz. Someone posted this on social media, and that's when others came forward saying they saw her do the exact same thing. And then you bring your child into this as well. Like, you got your kid sitting out there with you, going through this, the same heat and cold, trying to show people that y'all really ain't got nothing. Nah, man, you you... That is not the right <laughs> that is not the right example to be sitting, bro. Not for your child. No. She became infamous in San Francisco and her scam was revealed on the news. When a reporter confronted her about this, at first she said that the woman in the photo was not her. Is this she right there re begging on the street? Yeah. That's not you. But a facial recognition expert said it definitely was. This woman may still be out there. So if you see her panhandling in San Francisco, then beware. Fake homeless. Pathetic. One day, someone noticed that a panhandler was actually scamming people. He would go out with a sign saying he was homeless and ask for money. But at the end of the day, when his work was done, he would go home to his house. The person who realized this tipped off a YouTuber named The Veil vale Family, and they did some incredibly impressive investigation work. They followed him and recorded him begging and then going back to his house. To make matters worse, this guy even drove a new car, and the house he lived in was fairly large. When the Vale family knocked on his door to confront him, the man was stunned. The man said he had no idea what the YouTuber and camera crew were talking about. But the same man was caught on tape by the YouTubers before, and he was even wearing the same clothing, so it pretty much confirmed it was him. It's really sad that people actually do this, right. but good job to the Vale family for revealing this fake beggar. PhD Beggar this beggar is not a malicious scammer. Instead, he was making something up because he was desperate and he had to. This man was an Indian school teacher who retired. Dinesh Dwevetti had a PhD. He also had a pension of 35,000 rupees per month. That's around $500. He also had a work salary as well, but he would also go on the street of Jaipur and beg for money. So if he already had money, then why was he begging? Well, it turned out his son was an addict. His son would steal his money and also injure Dwevetti as well. Dwevetti's money was drying up, so he had no choice but to fake an injury and beg on the street. Damn. Eventually, the media caught on to this and exposed him, but people still took pity on his situation. Locals moved him into a care home so he could be looked after. So, although he did lie, he was doing it for good reasons. And it's great people came together to help this old man in need. Highway Widow Damn. If you saw an elderly widow begging on the side of the highway, chances are you would help her out. There's something on our brains which makes us care much more about the elderly and very young. Her sign said that she was in need of money, and many people gave her money. But that's when a man named Daniel spotted this woman counting her money in a 2014 car. You asking for <laughs> money in the middle of the street? You drive a 2013 car? When a YouTuber confronted her about this, she got very angry. <laughs> it just goes to show that you should. <laughs> so she get bad because she got exposed. <laughs> hey, bro, you just gotta play your game better than what you're doing, man. Bro, hey, hey, come on, bro. I don't know. There's nothing about this woman that says homeless. Nothing. She got on, it looked like a fresh flannel jacket shirt on, fresh white t-shirt, and a chain around her neck. Her hair looked like she got up and went did her hair. Nah, it's, it's nothing. Nah, I mean, yeah, it's your fault. Some of this is your fault, too. You should have noticed some of this. That don't look homeless at all to me. And Daniel spotted this woman counting her money in a 2014 car. You asking for money in the middle of the street and you drive a 2013 car? 
<laughs> when a YouTuber confronted her about this, she got very angry. It just goes to show that you should be cautious about any panhandler asking for money. Most will be real, but you never know. But now it's time to make your voice heard. Comment down below which was the smartest fake beggar. If you want some more amazing videos, then check out my second channel. But as always, thank you for watching. There are some more videos you may like on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoy. Yeah, that was crazy, man. I know it got a bunch of fake ones out there, everybody. Not all of them, but I mean, I can't say you can tell. Cause some of them is, is so pro at it, bro. It's like you you look at them and you swear to God that they is really homeless. Like they have it so down packed the way it looking fake is not even an option. Like, but they, they know how to do it. They know what people soft spot is and how to make themselves look like that so people can feel sorry for them. So I don't know, man. <laughs> Just gotta be careful. But I mean, I ain't saying don't have a good heart for those. I mean, if you feel like you have to give in at that moment, I mean, hey, follow your heart. Do it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So yeah. So if y'all like this, let me know in the comment section, man. If y'all like these type of videos, I'll keep doing them. But um, yeah. If you're not subscribed yet, go ahead on and subscribe to the channel, man. Don't forget to hit that like button on your way out. Y'all already know who it is, man. It's your boy Vlogging with Greg. I'm out.